Lots of progress in terms of early management of Merkel cell carcinoma as well, with recent at least changes in the National Comprehensive Cancer Network guidelines in the United States. One important change that has been kind of shifting slowly over the past few years, and I think has really moved into the absolute mainstream now, is you really need a baseline PET CT scan for uh, proper management of Merkel cell carcinoma. We like to do that before a sentinel lymph node biopsy as a critical early part of staging. About one in six patients with Merkel cell carcinoma will without any evidence of um, you know, satellite lesions or nodal spread, one in six, that's clinically, um, will have an upstaging, a significant upstaging of their disease status if they have a PET scan. PET scan does appear to be more sensitive significantly than CT at the baseline. For surveillance, we do CT scans, but for baseline, we strongly believe the data that it, a PET is significantly more sensitive. And if you've got some nodal involvement, then we just like to put a needle in there and avoid the sentinel lymph node biopsy. But radical changes in one in six patients uh, with Merkel cell carcinoma, very different numbers than melanoma. Uh, it has spread clinically uh, much more early in, in a lot of cases. Another area of progress in Merkel cell carcinoma is understanding what are the correct surgical margins? And how do you integrate radiation therapy with surgery? Uh, Merkel cell carcinoma does not grow as a contiguous ball of tumor. And that is the most important thing to get across. It spreads not only to the lymph nodes and distantly, which everybody knows um, quite often, but it also spreads probably discontinuously through lymphatics in the, in the perilesional area so that negative margins is not enough uh, to ensure that the local recurrence uh, situation is under good control. On the good news side, radiation can be delivered in much lower doses than we typically do. We normally do six weeks, you know, 50 gray kind of thing. You do not need to do that. We have now published a number of studies about one dose of eight gray of radiation. Originally 10 years ago, doing that in the palliative setting just to make people's metastatic disease less painful. And we saw these profound, complete responses very, very often from one dose like that. So we've now shifted to doing a single dose of eight gray in the adjuvant setting very often. And there's almost no side effects. It's incredibly convenient for the patients. And we have really, really good control in the radiated area. Uh, so that's a very nice thing. So you, the bottom line is we like to get negative margins, at least clinically negative, if not pathologically negative. But if you do some radiation and doesn't need to be an enormous amount, you can have superb regional control and uh, almost no side effects. So that's a really nice thing. This population is older. They often have to travel far to a, a radiation therapy center. And this is really in the service of the patients. And we have published one paper along those lines and are studying many more patients. And it, it's just working really well. And it makes sense.